So hey y'all, it is Vlogmas Day 11. 11 y'all, 11. I missed 10. I'm still trying, to, I was trying to go live tonight, but as y'all can see, that didn't happen. I don't know if anybody was going to be on there anyway. I was just trying something new, but I had a little bit of an issue with all the extra stuff that I needed to do that I didn't know I needed to do. So I just thought I'd come on here, check on y'all, see how you were doing. Hope you had a wonderful hump day. <laughs> um, I kind of did. Yesterday was not so good of a day for me. That's uh, one reason why I didn't vlog because I was really pissed off at somebody. And um, yeah, I was just pissed off, y'all. Uh, I couldn't come on here in the state that I was in because I couldn't believe that someone did what they did to me. Um, and this is a friend a male friend and we've been friends well over t Ooh, how long i've been here eight nine ten probably ten years or more a little more maybe um i don't know if i had ever mentioned to you guys about a project that i was working on with a um, prestigious university here uh college in here in madison and um, was working on getting a program for um, program for seniors um, and the program was almost like you know doing things like line dancing maybe some stepping but we were going to be creating our own program that would fit their needs and stuff like that mind you I've been teaching stepping in Madison for like um, probably long as I've been here um, successfully too so and I've partnered with more than one company to, um, you know, uh, work with them. And I'm working with a new company now, but this one was huge, 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 huge. And, um, the person that ruined it for me was a person that was trying to get me to date them. And, um, I had dated this person before, but like I said, long, 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 long time ago. And I figured that he might have been borderline crazy. So, um, because he was very, very smart. And he may watch this video. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but anyway, borderline crazy. Um, because sometimes people get so highly educated that they can't process you know, um, other people's feelings and emotions. Um, they think they can, they think they understand because you click really well. But, um, this person and that I did click with spiritually, um, but I was never attracted to him. Um, he wanted me to be, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't. And, um, this person hasn't worked in like years and he's a person that likes to sue people. You know, those people who um, study the law for years and years and years and they have all this education in their mind and they could potentially be a, a lawyer or an attorney, should I say, and, um, you know, win cases. And he has, and he's won a lot of money doing this. And so anyway, getting back to the story, I met with the people yesterday and they decided to bring the program to a close because he had bullied them into thinking that because he has um, information uh, that allows him to have, uh, well, have copyrights, okay? So um, to the movements or steps positions of your feet or whatever have you but not the dance because you can't copyright the dance um but we had talked to this person and we said you know what hey we're not going to be doing that so we have no intentions of stepping on your toes or doing anything like that but he didn't believe us so he kept calling and calling and calling and um the person that he was calling felt threatened and this was her project and she had worked really hard on getting this project done and we have met many months we started this project last year so we've been meeting up until yesterday um, at the close of the meeting so uh, we lost the big contract with the big company and um, I was really hurt by that 
uh, it goes to show you that when money is involved and somebody thinks that they deserve something, they will stop at no cost to get it, no matter if you have a friendship or not. And I was really hurt by that because I was like, can you just not call the person anymore because the program has been dissolved. Um, we won't be doing it anymore. Um, you know, and so you have hurt this person's feelings. You made them look like a fool in front of their job. You made them feel like they were taking something from the community, from the African American community, and they were not. Um, and I wouldn't even have intentions and allow people to take something that we feel is culturally ours. But there's some things that you cannot control. But um, I had every intentions of making sure that this was a positive experience for our African-American seniors. Because for some reason, I have this great love for seniors. <laughs> and um, always want to find things to do to keep them moving, keep them active, and keep them healthy. And so that's like my little side hustle that I do from time to time. And, and I do that now. I, I, I teach now. And... Um, I'm teaching online dances and stuff to seniors for balance and memory and exercise and um, just just to keep them moving, you know, just out of out of caring for them, not trying to per se make money off of them or do anything crazy like that. But this person just thought uh, that they it was some big money to to get out of this. So, um, but what I'm hurt about is the fact that. You just talked to me like four or five days before this all happened. Maybe, maybe less, maybe, maybe more. Um, and you were just saying, you know what? I really think that it would benefit us if um, we could, you know, come together as a couple and we could do some things and we could put some things in place. And, and we have like minds and we think the same way. And I'm thinking on some things, yeah, but on a lot of things, no. <laughs> that shows you how people be borderline crazy because they think that uh, they know you and they really don't and you know they don't because of the way they act but I just ask them to do something as a friend you know hey stop doing this stop doing that please just for me uh, well I can't promise you that but you know um, it's about the respect that they need to have for me and these people never even knew you. <laughs> they didn't know you. They didn't know about anything until, you know, I um, introduced them to it and they thought it would be a great idea for our people. They weren't using it for other people. They were using it for our people. <laughs> so it was still culturally sound. And I know white people done stole stuff from us before, but it was a program for our people. And we were going to pay our people to do this program <laughs> and so they would have been benefiting in many ways um and i was just so hurt by that and i was like what what is wrong with you uh just plain old crazy just plain crazy just done lost they ever loving mind um so you know with that said i'm just you know block <laughs> that's all i can say y'all i had to block his I almost cursed because of how pissed I was. I almost cursed you. <laughs> but I blocked him from everything because I don't need to speak to someone that say they care about me. But when it comes to their personal, whatever have you, whatever that may be, then their, their best interest is not about me. Um... And I'm not saying that to sound like selfish. You, I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But what I'm, you know, trying to say to you guys is you think that after all those years that you build a relationship with someone and you ask them to do you a favor, that they would do it for you. Thinking about all the times that you helped them out, all the times that you did things for them um, without question. And you're just like, yeah, sure. You know, hey, I got you, you know, um, and sometimes I didn't, but I did it anyway. And um, all the times I've been asked to travel and, you know, uh, do things. And, uh, you know, it was just overwhelming to me that someone could 
just put all that to the side and say, uh, you know, something stupid, like don't take it personal, this is about the business. The business of what? Because you ain't got no business outside of suing people and doing things that are hurtful to people. And so that's why I can say people say you have like minds. No, I don't have no like mind to cause wrath or anger or strife to anybody. <laughs> so we don't have like minds. And that's why it has not happened for us because you don't get it. <laughs> and I'm not going to deal with no bo fool. Boo-boo the fool. I'm not going to deal with no fool, y'all. So, um, and... I could say fool in many aspects of the word because it's just foolishness for someone to purposely try to go after somebody and put them on blast. He put me on blast. So, I mean, I just could I'm talking about blast on YouTube. The video is on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, if y'all want to go watch it, um, it's out there for everybody. The video is called Verlon Brooks. It's V-E-R-L-O-N-B-R-O-O-K-S. I just really can't believe, and I'm not trying to do anything like harm him or go, because I could say some things that probably would get him in trouble. But that is not my position. That is not my position. I am not here to harm anybody, and what God can do to somebody who tries to hurt other people is way more worse than what I could do. And I have lived that life through two husbands. So I have never tried to harm them, tried to do them wrong or anything like that. So I have no intentions of trying to do anything to this person either because you know what? I'm going to let God deal with that. I'm going to let him handle that because he can do what he needs to do with that person. And whether they ever get right or wrong or whatever it may be, it don't matter to me. But... He does say vengeance is mine and that he shall repay and that he could do far more worse than what I could ever do to a person. And I don't wish no bad on nobody, but the 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 flip side of that is if you have a belief and you have it in God and you know the word, the Bible says that. And that's what I believe. I do believe that. And I have seen it happen to other people who have, who have just done me wrong. Or whatever in that concept. And one day maybe I'll tell y'all the story. If y'all want to know the story. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if y'all want to know my story. Because I have been through hell and high water. And I'll be doggone if I'm going to let somebody else destroy something that I've been working for here in this city of Madison. For years on top of years. Because I'm going to keep on doing what I've been doing. And um, I'm just going to continue to enjoy my life. Like I said I have rid myself of the negative things I have told people in 2020 you getting cut off cut off if I go on a date with you and I don't like you I'm cutting you off <laughs> I'm sorry it's not that I have a wall up because my heart is still open and ready for love but I ain't putting up with no foolishness that I don't want to deal with I'm willing to compromise with a person who understands what I need and what I can provide for that person and I know life is a compromise. I am not looking for whoever Idris Denzel, whoever you think is your uh, male person that you think is your utmost of what he looks like or whatever that caliber. I am 50 plus years old, late 50s. So not that people can't look good in their late 50s or whatever have you, but I'm just saying I ain't expecting no uh, well together 25 year old man who's in his 50s to step to me like that okay I get the young guys trust me I get them y'all I get them all the time <laughs> but I ain't trying to I ain't I, I, I know my I know not to cross what I know what lines not to cross too so you know um yeah I'm just whew, I know I missed um 10 but this is day 11 of vlogmas and um I just had to come on here and say my piece. Thank you guys for letting me vent. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for listening. Thanks for watching my videos. And when I went, was trying to go on live, 
I was, uh, my title was, let's talk about this life journey. So I'm going to try to figure it out tonight. I'm going to try to work it out and figure it out. And then I will let you guys know when I'm going to try to go live again so y'all can chime in. But let me know below what a good time frame is for you all to come in and chat with me. And we talk about this lock journey because I'm going to show y'all the dealio here. This is my hair right now. <laughs> okay, it's been in this scarf all day. I had it tied a different way, but as you can see, my um, hair is back right now, and um, it's all to the back. Okay, it's real flat right now, because I had this scarf on, and everything. Ooh, that light is shining in, y'all. That light back there, I don't know if I can get, I can get it out when I've been coming this way. Okay, let me go up that way. Okay, is that better, y'all? But I'm putting my scarf back on, okay? So, yeah, and then the next thing I got, y'all, was, I don't even know, I can't speak on this yet because this is supposed to be personal, but it's something regarding work. I'll tell y'all when it's over. I, I have a meeting Friday, so um, it's not about me, but they want some information from me about someone else. Oh, sorry. I'm all in the... Yeah, and I don't know what it's about, what it's pertaining to, but I guess I will find out on Friday the 13th of all days. A day when, you know, uh, people call it not a good luck day, you know, a bad luck day, but it ain't bad for me because I'm not superstitious or whatever. But anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, but anyway, I guess that's all I wanted to say. I had to come on here and vent and talk to somebody. I know this video is long. Y'all might not even watch the whole thing, but do please watch the whole thing. Um, yeah. So don't forget hashtag all things such as life, and remember to love your fabulous self. Do something positive for someone else, even when they dog you out. Do something positive for somebody else. And do something positive for yourself. Okay. And this was positive. It was motivating. And it allowed me to let it go. So thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Hit your notification button so you know when the next video uploads. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Blogmas Day 11. 11. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all probably said that girl crazy. But anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye.